Now to Denver, where the school board will consider a censure of one of its members. That after the findings of a new report about one of its members, Tay Anderson, there were allegations of sexual assault. The independent report is 96 pages. Connor McHugh joins us live tonight with more on this. Connor, that report found most of those allegations were unsubstantiated. Yeah, and Karen, that was the, the and it found the most serious of those were unsubstantiated as well. But in that report, there were also findings that led to Anderson's colleagues saying that was behavior unbecoming of a board member. Now, in a statement released to us earlier this afternoon, the DPS board said it strongly believes the investigation treated Anderson fairly and is grateful the most grievous accusations were not substantiated. Still, the board will hold a meeting this Friday at 1 p.m. to consider a censure of the director. Ultimately, the report looked into five main issues or allegations. It did not substantiate any accusations of rape or sexual assault, including the original claim by Black Lives Matter 5280, as well as another allegation made by a DPS parent that involved 62 students. The allegations the team said were substantiated included flirting on social media with a 16-year-old DPS student while a board member. It also stated Anderson made two social media posts during the investigation that were coercive and intimidating toward witnesses. Now, Anderson did send out a statement shortly after this report, telling us he was not surprised, but nevertheless encouraged that the investigation found the allegations to be unsubstantiated and without merit. He did say in that statement he plans to address this report more in the coming days at a press conference. Live in downtown Denver, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.